Shalom family trendsetter. I'm driving so you will hear some noise in the background so please bear with me. Also I do have a tendency to struggle for words when I speak because of my Jamaican dialect. Now in today's video I want to talk about the food that we eat, the meat that we eat. I'm sure many of y'all never really considered where a lot of these food come from, how it's um, being prepared and I'm not talking about cooked. I'm talking about when before they actually slaughter these animals well let me just get right into it now a lot of these food that we eat family are basically being um sacrificed onto these people idols these people gods in other words a lot of times these restaurants that we patronize the meat that we eat they actually before you know it's prepared right they sacrifice these animals to their gods to their idols and then in turn sell it to consumers and then you know consumers then sell it to the restaurant and then we of course purchase these food and you know ingest these food and then we become ill now i want you to really and truly pay attention i'm going to try to go slow now i'm going to give you a couple of a couple of example in the bible right leviticus i think it's leviticus 11 if i'm not mistaken the most i gave us a dietary law right what to eat what not to eat now the reason why he gave us this dietary law because he knew that you know the heathens would actually trick us into eating meat certain meats that you know what i'm saying they would sacrifice to idols and i'm not sure if that's the only reason but one of the reasons is um some of these animals are very unclean because they eat meat they eat they're like carnivores they eat meat flesh and when you consume flesh we all know well if you don't know you're going to know today when you consume flesh meat it rots inside of your intestines so for example if you have if you have an animal that actually consume another animal that meat within that um, animal digestive system starts to rot and then now you consume that meat and all the bacteria right and parasite that's in that animal that that ate the other animal you start to consume that animal then your ass becomes sick because of all the bacteria and parasite that's why the most i wanted us to only consume animals that chew the cud right eat grass and wheat and shit like that so with that said let's continue so we have these devils right these um other nations that actually you know pay homage to their god whoever god that is a lot of them actually pay homage to spirits entities fallen angels and what happens a lot of time these fallen angels when they sacrifice these meat to these um gods if you will these idols they would actually now in turn invoke their spirit into these meat and then these meat that, that that's being invoked they'll sell it to consumers and then you know what i'm saying then later down the line we get the shit on our on our table and we consume the shit and then we get sick then we have to go now to the to the far you know to the doctor and shit which is the witch doctor and they give you a form of medication to to, to try to relieve this this illness so let me explain how that shit go. Let me break that down for y'all. Anti-venom. Do you know what anti-venom is? It's almost like, okay, when you get bit by a snake, right? The same venom that can kill you is the same venom they use to get you well. It's called anti-venom. I don't know how they make the anti-venom, but they extract the same venom from the snake and they make an anti-venom. It's the same thing with the doctors, family. When we eat these food, these meat that is sacrificed to these idols, these gods, and we get ill because um, illness is spiritual warfare okay it's a spiritual warfare so whatever spirit that comes now in our body through these meat that we eat now they get an anti-venom so now they get a higher demon or a higher spirit to, to expel that lower spirit and then now you have another spirit in you that's why they say and many of these fucking when you read like these um packaging right of these medications said this medicine may have side effects right it may cause blah 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 vomiting uh, small dicks like the white people got you know what i'm saying might cause nausea or whatever you know what i'm saying so what's happening now the farm the pharmacy right pharmacy is in the bible with the witch doctor prescribe a medication that they invoke a spirit in you consume that medication so now that medication expel that demon out of your body but now guess what it replaced it's replaced with another demon that have another side effect. You see what I'm saying? I hope y'all follow me. This shit is deep. The most I will give me these revelation family and when you really truly think about it, this shit makes sense. So 
I'm gonna give you another scenario. You ever watch these horror movies where you get these pedophilic priests, right? These pedophile priests. They using the cross and they <clears throat> they exercising the demon and they say, I command you in the name of Jesus to come out of her or come out of him. So what they're doing, they're using Satan because Satan is Jesus, believe it or not, or Jesus is Satan, right? So what they're doing, they're exercising a lower demon with a higher demon. See, Satan name, right? That name's Satan. That name Satan is a title, just like God. You know, you go to a Christian, you say, what's God's name? Well, his name is God. No, his name is not God. That's a fucking title, right? The Most High has a name. Nobody really knows his name. Some people call him Ahia. Some people call him Yahweh, Yahweh, whatever. But at the end of the day, we don't know his real name. So what happens is a lot of time when, for example, you go to a Christian church and they're laying hand and praying for the sick. They're using Jesus' name, which is Satan, to expel a lower demon. These demons that usually possess people, they know who the fuck Jesus is. Because there was actually a passage in the Bible, right? A story in the, in the New Testament where you had this, this, this nigga try to, you know, challenge one of these demons and shit. And the demon said to him, um, Paul we know, Jesus we know, but who the fuck are you? You know what I'm saying? And then they, they attacked his ass and overcame him. So it's the same thing. These demons know who Jesus is. They know Jesus is really Satan because Satan got many names. Satan is a fucking title. Satan just means the adversary, spirit. That's a title. That's not his name. You know how you would say Lucifer and shit? Lucifer, that's a name. That's another spirit name. That's another motherfucker that these devils worship, Lucifer, right? So I want you to understand something, family. When you consume McDonald's, McDonald's, you don't know what what's going on with their meat. I gave y'all a video like about a, what, six, seven months ago where Rabbi, Rabbi P Priest was talking about what they do with the meat. They drain the blood, they drink the blood. That's where you get your Passover and your, your fucking, um, what's that Christian shit that they do? Um, drink of my body, what is that? Eat of my body and drink of my blood, communion. Even Jesus Christ, to show you how much what I'm saying makes sense because Jesus tell you to, to, uh, to eat of his body and drink of his blood, right? In remembrance of him. Who is this Jesus? Who are you remembering? You know what I'm saying? You remembering fucking Satan. That's who y'all paying homage to. The Christian church, they don't realize that they're paying homage to Satan. Jesus Christ is the bright and morning star. Uh, Lucifer, uh, Lucifer, right? Satan is the fucking day star. Lucifer is the day star. What star come out in the day? The sun. What do, who do they worship? The son of God. They try to say it's the S-O-N of God, but it's actually the S-U-N of God. Israel is the Mosai firstborn, okay? Israel is, is a Mosai begotten son. You can't have two begotten sons. You can't have two firstborn sons. So I'm trying to explain to y'all, family, y'all been tricked. So a lot of these food that y'all are consuming and shit, y'all are eating food that was sacrificed to idol, and that's why a lot of y'all niggas are sick, and that's why the Mosai actually told us, you know what I'm saying? He said, um, for us not to eat certain foods and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because he knew that these devils will, will, will trick us into eating food and, you know, they, they, they dress it up, they prepare it well, the shit smells good, and like pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster, you know, black people, especially, especially southerners and shit, they love their pork chops, and that's why a lot of y'all niggas is getting sick because y'all are sacrificing food to, well, not y'all, but they're sacrificing food to their idol, right? Including Jesus Christ, because even when you take communion, you notice they um, always raise the fucking um, glass or the cup filled with grape juice. In some cases, they actually use real wine and that bread, that wafer and shit. Who do they work? Who do they raise it to? They raise it to Jesus. They sacrificing this shit. They praying to this shit. They praying. You know what I'm saying? They they offering this shit to Jesus to, for Jesus first to pretty much you know sanction the shit. Then y'all motherfuckers go and y'all put it in y'all mouths and start chewing on it because y'all y'all greedy as fuck. Y'all go to church just for communion because y'all greedy and y'all start consuming this shit and not knowing that y'all invoking these spirits into y'all body. You know what I'm saying? It shit is deep. That's why a lot of times, family, we are being sick because a lot of these restaurant chains, right, they get their wealth from these entities. They say, listen, we'll give you the wealth. We'll give you heaven and earth. But in return, you have to do certain ritual. And what they do, they sacrifice these meat to these to these entities. They come into the meat, then we consume it. Because remember, you cannot, an entity cannot come into you unless you invite it in. 
know what I'm saying? A vampire. Remember the story? You can't. A vampire cannot cross your door unless you invite it in your home. And that's what we're doing. We're inviting these, these, these entities into our bodies and shit. Even the hair that you, you wear in your head, these weaves. A lot of these weaves that you women like to put on your head and shit, right? A lot of y'all don't realize that these, um, these um, Indian women are, are, are sacrificing these hair to their guys and shit. And then y'all wear it on top of y'all, y'all head. That's why a lot of these women are ratchet. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a part two because I'm running out of time. On, on you know recording time on this video but with that i say hey family i'm back so basically i'm gonna just tie this one into the other video because if i make two separate video it ain't like youtube gonna allow y'all to see the shit anyway because they're still suppressing my channel but as i was saying right so a lot of y'all women y'all wear these weeds on your head um i'm talking about human here like my daughter right she be buying these shits. these should be costing like three four hundred dollars and i'll be like why would you buy somebody else here you know what I'm saying? And put it on your head and, and pay that much for it. She said, well, dad, it lasts about a year and a half. And what she'll do is, like, she'll you wear it for, like, a year, right? And then she'll pass that shit down to her sister. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my sister, her sister, younger sister, smart as shit. So what she do, she wait for, like, a whole year to get her sister, older sister here. And, and my, my youngest daughter, right, she's, you know, she's, like, 21 and shit. She's, she's very, um, what's that word I want to use? She's very good at, like, you know doing makeup and fixing hair so she'd be hooking that shit up so she's like that why would i spend four hundred dollars on some hair when i know i could get it from my sister a year later yeah it takes a year for me to get it but while i wait for that year to come i still got the one the year before my daughter's smart as she she looks just like me too she kind of reminds me of me and she, she's a she's my sign right i was gonna tell you i'm a zodiac but i don't believe in that shit but you know she's my month but anyway so yeah so a lot of y'all you know what i'm saying because the most i one of the curses was that we was going to be, well, not we, but y'all was going to be struck with baldness, right? Because what y'all used to do back in the days, y'all used to use y'all beauty, y'all long hair, y'all big hips, and um, y'all fat ass, and y'all used to try to seduce the other nation. Because, you know, we don't don't get me wrong, Femi, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but we had we had whores in Israel. We had women that, that went away, that went astray and shit, you know what I'm saying, um, became whores and shit, trying to, you know, do what they do with other nations to, to, to survive you know what i'm saying we had that back then too prostitution is not just now this shit been you know been back in even our days when we was back in the days and shit so what happened was these women these hebrew women used to let leave and they used to go and deal with the other nation and they used to use their hips and their ass and their long beautiful hair to seduce um these people like the egyptian men and shit so the most i put a curse on their ass he punished them by taking away their hair notice a lot of black women right especially african-american women west indian women we don't have I keep saying we i ain't a motherfucking woman y'all don't have long hair you know what i'm saying y'all usually have like short hair for some reason now there's very you know very few occasion where you may find uh, so-called african-american women or, or or um west indian women with long hair but usually you're mixed with either native american indian which were originally black or you might be mixed with some kind of european and shit but straight up you know hebrews y'all don't have long hair just like how you got the hermetic people they can't grow beard and shit right well he some hebrew women most hebrew women y'all can't grow y'all hair y'all hair always like y'all probably get as close as long as y'all might get your hair is like to y'all shoulders you know what i'm saying but then a lot of y'all always putting perm and putting hot comb in your hair to fuck it up even more break your hair follicle up so it's like you know either way it's like a maybe, maybe that curse just just continues because a lot of y'all have opportunity like i tell my wife and shit right my wife when she was pregnant man with my daughter my last daughter man her hair was long as fuck it was like literally to the middle of her of her back and she's from jamaica black girl right and her nails grew and she was glowing you know some women when they're pregnant they glow and then i said to her i said look look do not put no more a permeate see how beautiful your hair is and shit this shit is natural and as soon as she had the baby man this nigga i don't know what, what happened to her she said i'm going i'm going out to the club with my, my girl so i'm going to hairdresser she came back chip chip her hair she cut her hair permed her hair and from that day on my daughter's what nine years old now nine years later and shit that her hair can't grow back you know what i'm saying now she look like me I, my hair can grow longer than her and i'm bald headed right now you know well, i'm not bald headed i'm short headed because you know the bible says you're not supposed to boil your head and shit but i'm short here my hair is short i you know i, I cut the shit low in the summertime because you know it's hot 
And if I want, I could grow my hair. My shit probably be longer than hers. You know what I mean? Because she's disobedient. She she don't she didn't listen to me. You know, I ain't listening to you, nigga. You ain't no Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Well, Jesus was telling y'all to do not to do the shit. Y'all probably would listen. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So yeah, that's what they do, family. So what happened was, well, what happened is, fuck was, they still do it. They actually, these Indian women, right, they go to the temple and they cut off their hair, and the Indian men's too, they cut off their hair and they actually offer as a sacrifice to their God, to these entities. And then these entities, they invoke these entities into their hair. And then what they do, they sell it to the, uh, the Asians or the Koreans or whoever the fuck sell hair, the Asians, right? Then the Asians sell this shit to Africa pro- get, to get it processed. I made a video about that about a year and a half ago. You know, that should go in my archives, probably still there. And then um, after they process the hair, they do some more shit to it and then they sell it to us. Why you think they always target black communities when they're selling weaves? Very rare you see them going to the white community. Now, don't get me wrong, white people wear weaves too, but their shit is not like ours. You know what I'm saying? They invoke shit spirit into the hair for y'all to keep coming back you know what i mean sometimes y'all are broke but y'all gotta go get this weave you gotta go get this weave my wife she's about to do her and my daughter's hair this weekend and she came back with this big ass bag two bags full of fucking hair i'm like what is that grocery shop she said no those are hair i said damn i said that's a lot of hair that you don't even have would you gonna put all that shit on your head you know what i mean so family that's what's going on man they invoking these spirit. why do you think a lot of our even our men we like to chase down Nike shoes because Nike was a god. Y'all don't believe me? Google. Nike was actually a god. The Nike god. In two miles, use the right three lanes to take the exit toward North Virginia, Washington. Damn, I forgot I had that on. And what they do is they invoke these spirits in these tennis shoes that a lot of our, you know, brothers, brother and sisters chase down, you know, paying $300 for some fucking shoes that, you know, you wear a couple times and they destroy it and you got to go pay another $300. i am telling you, family, shit is real. Even diamond. Diamond don't really have no value other than the fact that you, it's the hardest substance. Well, so they say, you know what I'm saying? But they invoke spirits into these jewelry and shit that, that, that makes y'all just want to go crazy over. All right, but I'm going to end it because um, this dumbass GPS is interrupting. With that, I say shalom.